Hello. Welcome to CAM Look, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Each day, a staff member will be sharing with you an object from the permanent collection and posing questions. Please check back at 10 a.m. every day for a new work and a new chat. My name is Kristen Spangenberg, and I'm curator of prints at the Cincinnati Art Museum. Today I'm going to talk to you about one of my favorites. It's a work by the preeminent engraver Giorgio Ghisi, who was from Mantua in the middle of the 16th century. And it is a work after his friend Giovanni Battista Bertani, who was likewise Italian. The subject of this very ambitious composition is the vision of Ezekiel. It was done in 1554. Now, <clears throat> the text on the banderole is missing in this particular print. And it was originally thought to be a first state, but it is actually a previously undescribed state, uh, which we discovered when I brought it into the museum for purchase. Uh, the banderole, the missing text reads, I will lay sinews and flesh upon you. Now, um, Ezekiel was a prophet. And so this is chapter 17, verse 6. Uh, and the subject of, is, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. And I shall lay sinews upon you, and will bring up flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and ye shall live, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. Uh, so, this print does depict Ezekiel's vision set in the Valley of the Dry Bones. Now, it's only one of three engravings which he did after his friend Bertani. <clears throat> and Bertani was a native of Matua, like Easy. He was a draftsman, painter, and architect. Uh, and what's interesting about this print is that it's almost just a decade after the publication of Andreas Vesuvius's um, De Humani Corpus Fabrica, or About the Human Body. And it was published in Basel in 1543, and of course the date of this print is 1554. Uh, the skeletons are not direct copies from Vesalius, nor is the tomb uh, at the right of the engraving, while it is not a direct copy, it was certainly inspired by the tomb of Pietro Strozzi, which was designed by Giulio Romano, another artist from Mantua. Now, what's important to me about this print, of course, is it's the only copy of this print which is between first and second state. And a state basically is the progress of the artists working on the engraving. So he did the engraving. Uh, he put Ferdani's name on the tablet at left, but left the banderoles blank. And then he also put his name on the tablet in the lower right, leaning against the skull. <clears throat> and so this print it really feels a gap in the museum's collection. And you have to think about the fact that at that point in time, there was no photography. So if you were to have a copy of this particular composition by Bertani, Gysi had to do an engraving after it. And just think how much times have changed you can now take a photograph with your phone. 